Hello, welcome to another class with La Suerte Dance School. This will be an intermediate class or part of our intermediate uh, playlist. We're going to show you something different today though. We, are, we want to explain, show and give you some examples of how to construct the dance. When our students start dancing, they mainly concentrate on memorizing and learning moves. When uh, construction of the dance is again, important topic, and sometimes people completely don't pay attention to it. So uh, we'll start straight away. We'll go through structure of the song and we will give you as many examples as possible. So first thing is that every song starts with introduction. So normally when the song starts, we don't want to go crazy. We want to go slow, sometimes even as slow as step that we like to call al medio. Tick to tum and tick to tum and tick to tum and five, six, seven one and three and five, six, seven. This is sometimes my beginning. Sometimes it's even less than that, moving just left and right, like one, two, three, and five, six, seven. A lot depends on what kind of introduction we have. Uh, in the song that we are going to use for today class, again, Soy de Tierra y de Mar by Mas Bajo, the introduction is not rhythmical at the beginning. So definitely some fluent swinging is good idea to start with. Then usually the first part of the song, is uh, quite slow. And by saying slow, I don't mean slow in tempo, but slow in feel. So this is one thing that you should notice, that it's very, very rare that tempo of the song is changing during the song. So it's not like, oh, we will start doing steps slowly and then we'll speed up during the song. There are songs like that. I can think about um, Un Monton de Estrellas or uh, Timba Cubana by Tirso Duarte. Those two songs, they are starting slowly and speeding up during the song, but normally what changes is the feel. So that at the beginning, you don't feel like doing any crazy moves. You can just walk around in closed position. So first part of the song, we would like to dance in closed position. I can do agua here, ting, ting, boom, boom, boom. We showed you that in different video, ting, ting, poco, ting. We can do caminala in closed position. So walk around, ting, poco, and ping, a very sonish move six, seven, and one, and five, six, seven, things like that. And then I'll open and continue in open position after the intro, yeah? So walking around, uh, standing on the spot, like probably the most um, difficult, if I can call it, the most adventurous move uh, here would be uh, La Chica, okay? It's not the most difficult. Actually, this walks and twists are a lot more difficult. Then the whole body of the song starts, yeah? So the song normally picks up and gears are changing also. So further to the end of the song you go, uh, more exciting and dynamic it usually gets. Maybe one day I'll go through the construction of the song uh, itself, but today I want to talk more about constructing the dance. And how to make dance interesting. First kind of obvious uh, element would be to listen to the music while you're dancing. So when I said, I already said about this gears change, sometimes um, the song will pick up and get very dynamic and then you dance more enthusiastic. And sometimes it will slow down even in the middle of the song, your bass will drop on you. And then you have very limited melody, very limited percussion. And then again, it feels like you should dance in close position. So basically don't be afraid of slowing down and speeding up in the song. And this is um, what we are going to talk in general. How to create changes, how to create contrast. So let's say that the first contrast we would like to talk about is going fast and going slow. And what I mean by that, going regular tempo would be like this, one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, going slower, five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, seven, and one, and three, and five, and seven and one. So I go one, three, five, seven. I almost don't move. I can wiggle my uh, hips or chest and Anna is doing the same, rotating hips and just bouncing on one leg and going half of the speed, yeah? So I'll show you this part again. It will be one, two, three, five, seven and one, three and five, seven and one, two, three, five, six, seven. Or another example, one, two, three, five, six, seven and one, three, five, Seven, we did it also in other video, ting, ting, boom. And especially when the moment like that in song appears, we'll show you uh, with the music a bit later. This is the time to uh, slow down the tempo. Uh, to speed up the tempo, normally I would do it without partner. Yeah? So for example, ting, ting, boom, ping, ping, boom, ping, 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 boom, ping, boom, boom, tick. So dancing solo, 
gives you opportunity to move your feet a bit faster. Um, with a partner, it's a bit more tricky. So the first element that we want to consider is changing tempo. We go regular tempo or slower or faster. Number two, we want to change positions we are dancing. So we have closed position, ting, ting, pa, ti, ting, ting, pa, pa. We have open position, let's say guapea, ting, ting, pa, ting, ting, pa, pa. And uh, we have dancing separately, eh? like, ting, ting, pa, ti, ting, ting, pa, pa. 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 Three positions, hmm, I would say, even four. The fourth one would be dancing on the spot. Basically like this. Ting, ting, pa, ti, ting, ting, pa, pa. 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 Ting, ting, pa. So it's even <laughs> closer and smaller than dancing in close position. So let's say that we have four different positions dancing on the spot, very close, dancing in close hold, um, then dancing in open position. So let's say moves starting from guapea or moves starting from dilekeno. Uh, and uh, in the end, we have dancing solo. And again, if you would like to learn how to dance solo, we've done so many classes and they are like full one hour long. I'll give you a link to the playlist now blinking on top. So uh, you can go through this if you want to improve your solo game. Third element, a bit tricky. Um, you can change the levels when you are dancing. You can change the levels. So for example, going rumba is a lot lower level, yeah? If you think about dancing salsa and rumba, yeah? Like say, let's do salsa step, Anna, six, seven, one, two, three, and rumba, hop, boom, and ting, boom, boom, ting, ting, a lot lower, yeah? It creates different feel. You drop down. Uh, you can do these drops in general, doing drops as accents is, is a very normal thing as well. So maybe I will not uh, <laughs> show you exactly how it works with the accents at the moment because we still don't have music on, but it more or less works like this. Five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, five, six, seven, and boom, ti, cool. Pull or one, two, three, five, six, seven, or you can do it solo. Five, six, seven, and boom, tick, kukum, tiki, and one, two, three, five, six, seven. Okay, so again, more ideas. Uh, you have changing levels. If you have more ideas for changing levels, you can do it as well. There are sometimes guys who like to do, uh, go down the floor, yeah? And, and I don't know, I remember a guy who liked to do a cleaning floor movement. Yeah? Uh, yeah. <laughs> he did kind of like a squat and cleaning the floor in front of the girl. And again, uh, it, maybe it's a bit funny, but it definitely adds the contrast into dance, yeah? It adds something different. I know I can do abaqua movement thing when I go a bit higher. Yeah, obviously, uh, from girl perspective, going into Roomba, um, that works as well. So that was third element going on different levels, up and down. The fourth act aspect would be uh, the difficulty of your dance. Sometimes it's simply not worth it to keep everything very, very difficult. And obviously, uh, if you go with extremely simple moves, uh, it can be slightly boring as well. So uh, we try to change difficulties, yeah? So if I go with crazy move, ting, ting, boom, like, doom, pa, ti, ting, ting, pa, pa, and doom, pa, ti, ting, ting, pa, pa, doom, pa, ti, ting, ting, pa, pa, boom, shoo, and doom, doom, pa, pa, doom, shoo, and doom, doom, pa, pa, shoo, boom, and doom, doom, pa, pa, boom, shoo, and doom, doom, pa, pa, doom, shoo, and doom, doom, pa, pa, doom, pa, and doom, doom, pa, pa, and that's enough. Uh, for crazy things. And then I would just chill a bit, maybe just enchufla, and maybe stay on spot again to create a bit of contrast. Tick and boom, tiki and boom, boom, tiki. So basically maneuvering between difficult moves, some crazy combinations and easy elements is very, very important. So this will be point number four and number five, uh, very, very related. How much tension, how much, um, how, how relaxed you are dancing or, or how crazy you are dancing. Some moves require a lot of tension. So for example, if I want to uh, turn her twice or more, ting, ting, boom, and zoom, zoom. These moves require quite a bit of tension. Um, and then there are some others, like let's say 
walks in close position, tum to tum tum pa ba. Here, very strong frame thing, boom. And then the same thing what I showed you already here, this boom and shoof, like, hey, yeah, relax, uh huh, kum, tiki, and boom, zoom, boom, zoom, and boom. Mm. That obviously doesn't require any tension. This is a very, very relaxed moment. Now, when I release partner, this is also a moment to chill for both of us. Some people would go like very crazy, um, but I would say this is the moment to connect with the music. Yes, we still dance as a couple, and this is very important. Um, we are not losing connection when we are dancing um, separately. This is very, very important aspect. Maybe one day I will make an episode, a bit longer episode, about dancing solo and what are concepts and ideas around that. Um, but this is a lot more relaxed. We are connecting with the music and we still uh, try to dance with a partner. And this leads me to um, the last element when, it, uh, when we think about constructing the dance, that we are dancing with second person, that's very important. So um, experience that you create from men perspective for your partner uh, is the most important. And one of my teachers used to say that you have to be creative post. Yeah, so you are, you are not important in the dance. Your job is to make uh, dance exciting or memorable or enjoyable for the girl. So very easy way to do it is to um, keep smiling, keep connecting with the girl. Um, just feel that you are dancing together. So some, some of you are uh, leaving the comments under our videos that, oh, when we dance, uh, when we did demo, we didn't look at each other. And I'm like, yeah, okay, I have to think to show you 30 moves, try to not repeat them uh, too much because again, I try to show it to you. I don't want to um, show off in front of Anna. Yeah. Um, this is how it works. So if we, if we, when we dance for our own, own enjoyment, it's different. When we dance for the camera, it's also different. In real life dancing, our main focus is the partner. I already said that this will be the last point, but I have a few more. When you are creating moves and when you want to make it exciting for your partner, uh, it's good habit, good idea, to learn how to combine moves with each other in a bit less regular way. So start with one move and then continue with something else. Uh, what I mean by that, for example, um, we have um, El Uno Complicado. You can check it on our channel. And ting, ting, boom, and ting, ting, boom. And now I will change it and continue with Chihuahua. Ting, ting, boom, and ting, ting, boom, and ting, ting, boom and ting, ting, boom, and hop, tiki, and hop, tiki. Or, okay, let's say I start Santiago, ting, ting, boom, ti, ting, ting, boom, ting, ting, boom, ti, ting, ting, boom, ting, ting, boom, ti, ting, and now I enter with tiramisu. Tum, ti, ting, ting, boom. Oh, but I'll change my mind and then I'll go like La Botella. Ting, ting, boom, ting, ting, boom. And I created something very different again and came back to tiramisu again. So. Elements like that. You can find moments in a dance uh, that one moves can easily translate or change into another. So you are surprising your partner this way. She's assuming from the beginning, oh, he's going with Santiago. It will be from the beginning to the end Santiago. No, you can change it. Uh, and one more element um, that we should think about are all weird additions to dance. Weird or not weird. Some of them are more natural, like rumba and afro. They are very, um, natural part of modern Cuban dancing. Um, normally, we would like to connect it, associate it with uh, music. Sometimes people do it differently. They just go wild, Afro, uh, no matter what, hap what happens. I remember our experience, it was from Barcelona, no? When we went there for salsa, uh, <laughs> majority of moves look like this. Doom, doom, boom, doom, 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 boom. So you have release and boom, aha, boom, yeah, and boom, yeah, boom, and that's it. And doom, 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 and then a chufla, boom, and again, boom, 
and boom, and, and all over and over and over like that, yeah? It doesn't matter if the music fits or it doesn't. Like for me, that's too much. But adding Afro and Rumba, it's very, very cool. Some people like to add hip hop. Some people are like to add reggaeton. Some uh, people have contemporary dance uh, background and that fits as well. Um, basically, dance is your own way to express yourself. So there is no problem basically to add many weird things if you feel like. Um, again, I, I will send you to our Instagram account this time because uh, on uh, advanced classes we are doing sometimes very, very strange things in here and we show you how we can add uh, really different elements into dance. And I'll leave it here. So if you want, uh, watch it. Maybe it will give you some inspiration. Now, we're going to uh, dance a song. It will be Soy de Tierra y de Mar uh, uh, by Mas Bajo. And again, <laughs> I'll keep talking during the song. So um, maybe this connection element will be missing. Yeah, so like I said, the, the, the first part of the song starts very slowly. So there is no really um, rhythm in this part, or at least it's not stable. That almost looks like bachata, but why not? Like I said, the dance is your own interpretation, yeah? So if you feel like waving a bit, now rhythm appears, but it's still nothing special. And let's say this is our intro part. In many songs, this intro part is even slower. This is the moment when I will start opening. But still, nothing crazy, nothing crazy. Still dancing, you know, sometimes in close position, sometimes in open, very easy moves. And this is the moment when the full rhythm enters. And still, I don't go crazy. But now I'll try to show you all these uh, variations in that. So, going between close positions. Open position, releasing, dancing solo, and now it is moment to slow down, try slow down. Now beat is changing. That beats well. Or other moves that we showed you before. Changing, changing levels with the music. Another aspect I didn't talk about, you can then kind of in close position. Solo. On one side, on another. So without releasing partner. Then I can go with some crazy move at some point. This is the moment of slowdown, moment of slowdown. Not really full rumba rhythm. And I can attack also with the accent. For that you need to know song a bit, at least a bit. And I'll walk her around a bit. Like 
change direction. Sometimes to the right, sometimes to the left. I'll show this again. And again, opposite direction. So I'm not whirling all the time. One way, one way. What else did we miss, Anna? A combination, 74. Tiramisu. Now I'll combine it with La Botella differently. Later. Then with 70. And then something completely different. Basila Lolo Los Dos. Don't be afraid of basic steps. In basic, you can create some weird things. Have fun, bounce it, bounce with it. Sometimes I'm making it difficult for Rana because I say one thing and I do different. Now song is slowly finishing. I can still go crazy for this part or I can start closing the dance. And now we have outro, the same as intro, very slow. Okay, okay. Whew. The song is quite dynamic. Um, and again, if I chose a song to show you, uh, all these different uh, aspects of dancing, I would probably go for a slightly different song. Uh, but because of YouTube, we are limited to just a few uh, tracks. This is a very good song, though. It has many gear changes. It uh, doesn't have that many accents. Some of them, yes, there are there, but not that many. Um, and probably there are many other things that we could talk about and talk about definitely more in details. But um, we created this video just to a bit open your minds, yeah? So when, once you start dancing, that you start thinking about it. And another thing I noticed, because I do classes like, like literally like this one, um, face to face, yeah? When we meet here together with people, and I will tell you that during the class, they are very creative. They are uh, very adventurous. They come up with some very, very cool stuff. However, when it comes to dancing at the party, it moves a bit backwards, so um, everybody goes for safe options, yeah? So I do encourage you to, uh, A, try new things when you are um, dancing at the party, uh, and ladies, be patient with guys when you are dancing together, especially if you know each other. Uh, give them um, a bit of time to develop and give them a chance to make mistakes as well. Or don't get angry if they make mistakes because mistakes are part of the process. This is the way uh, we are learning. And they will make a couple of mistakes at the beginning and then later on, obviously, the dance with them will be a lot, lot more enjoyable. So it's kind of, you can treat it like investment. I think I should stop talking now because this video is definitely long uh, already. Um, so, if you want to see more, if you would like us to do more uh, videos um, when we talk about concepts rather than show you just moves, 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 uh, give us a shout, leave us a comment uh, under this video and like, subscribe and press the bell. Like, subscribe and press the bell. You can support us, uh, you can support our channel uh, by subscribing uh, on the Patreon or um, using the PayPal link from the description. Uh, we appreciate your support. It's very, very cool that you are with us. Uh, and we'll see you next time in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.